Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode one of a new Let's Try. Uh, this is for a game that I was recently going through my desktop PC, uh, the drives that I have left from it. Uh, since the computer needed a power supply, I just ended up taking the drives out of it and using a... Um, like a drive reader, external USB drive reader. So I found some stuff on there that I hadn't played in a while or hadn't seen or even ever played, really. Some interesting stuff. But this is one that I found on there. Um, I don't know if it's that obscure or anything. It is. You can find it for download online with a Google search. Pretty easy. So if you guys want to do that, you can. Um, this is version 1.02, which I think is the final version. It hasn't been updated for a while. So, yeah, this is a, a JRP, a JRPG, I'm sorry. Um, and it follows the uh, Suicoden line of play. Like, um, there's over 100 characters in it, I believe. And it's sort of like a, I call it Suicoden. I think you can also say Suicoden or something like that. I don't know. I call it Suicoden. But, um... Yeah, it's it's made by an indie dev, just one guy, I believe. And uh, he uses stuff like he uses music and stuff from other RPGs, as you'll see. So this is not a, a game that's for sale. It's a free download. It's a free uh, ROM. So like, you know, it's okay if he uses other people's work and stuff. It's not for, he's not making a profit off of it. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring it up here. This is episode one of Let's Try Exit Fate. Now, I have not played much of this. I have a save on here that was like an hour or two. Uh, so this is going to be pretty fresh for me. I haven't seen this game in many years. And yeah, so this is basically brand new to me. So here we are. We're full screen. Let's go ahead and hit new game. Uh, I'm not sure the control layout. If I press F1, um, I don't think that tells us much. Z is supposed to be A. X, okay. Oh, C, okay. So this is a weird one. Um, C is actually... Okay, C is A or whatever. Or C is OK. Like, select with C. So let's hit new game. And here we go. Let's check this out. SCF presents. And you heard some, like, old Final Fantasy music there. I think that was Chrono Trigger. Exit fate. Should be very cool. Even the sprites look a bit similar. Doctor. Well, how is it? My lord, it's most wondrous. You've become a father not once, but twice today. Twice, you say? Yes, my lord, a boy and a girl. Both appear to be in good health. I see. Two children. That's unexpected. My lord. It was a terrible experience for her ladyship. She was clearly weakened by her recent illness, but even then, it was... She didn't make it. I... No. M my lord. But knowing it would happen... Didn't make it any easier. Hmm. It is the year 1545, a long period of peace between the Kiergaard Kingdom and the State Union of Zelmany is about to come to an end. 
Despite efforts from Chancellor Ryan of Zelmany to maintain good relations, there's a mutual sense of distrust running deep through both countries, making diplomatic action difficult. The point of conflict, Helmand Island, a disputed area in a strategic position between the two enemies. Claimed by both nations, ownership of the island has changed repeatedly over the centuries. Soon the past 21 years of Zelmany control will end as well. But this time, Kiergaard will not be satisfied with the island alone. Plans for a full-scale invasion are ready, and with the royal army is stronger than ever. Under the command of the Red General, Jovian Knight, a surprise attack is carried out on the port city of Jargo. This is where everything begins. Hmm. St. Reinhard, capital of the Kiergaard Kingdom, four weeks before the battle at Jargo Port City. Very cool already. The writing is very good. Oh, wow. Cutscenes and all. Huh. Again. These nightmares, they're becoming more frequent as of late, says Daniel. I guess it must be the stress. Am I worrying too much about the upcoming war? Daniel. Who is it? It's me, Angel. Aren't you up yet? Angel? Wait, it's already this late? Hold on, I'll be there in a moment. Chapter 1 Prologue Only the weak desire peace, a hopeless dream that even the strongest of men cannot achieve. Sigmund Jadengand. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. And press this, see, this is, uh... We're just gonna save over file 1. And actually, let's save over file 2, file 3, and file 4. Is there any more files? File 5, file 6, file 7, file 8. Try not to look at them. Whoops. Wow, how many files are there? 12. Okay, so really... Oh, no. More. See, as you can see, the play time was only like an hour or two. Okay, can I open anything? Can I play with anything? X brings this up. Nice. Let's see. Alright. This is our homie, Daniel. Level 1. Weapon is the Seraphim. Oh, nice. Very cool. We can check his stats. Pretty magical with good magic defense. Quite accurate and dexterous. Cool. And his equipment is... Oh, he's decked out. Look at this. Brown herb heals 100 HP. Interesting stuff. Silver dust heals 40 HP for the entire party. Alright. So... Settings... Magic select all oh, battle cars reset. Okay, that looks good. Let's roll out. Good morning, Angel. Aren't you cheerful today? Well, it's no wonder. You must be full of energy after sleeping that long. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not setting a very good example, am I? Could be better. But then again, I'll be leaving soon, the comfort of my room. Who knows how long it'll be until I can sleep in my own bed again. I should enjoy it while it lasts, don't you think? What a convenient excuse. But it's true, the first battle is already looming on the horizon. No doubt will be sent off in the near future. But Daniel, I'm surprised to see you so casual about it, especially since you've been against this offensive from the beginning. Aren't you tired of hearing that from me yet? Sure, I feel strongly about these things, but there's a right time and place for protest. When I'm around friends, I don't want to ruin the mood. Anyway, I came to see you for a reason. 
The general's meeting should be over by now. I was just on my way there to look for Jovian. Do you want to come along? Oh, right. It was this morning, wasn't it? Are you anxious to hear what they called him in for? Well, it's not like we don't know already. After the sudden death of General Russell, they've been rushing to find a replacement in time for the operation. It's plain to see why they invited him to the meeting. We don't know for sure yet. Besides, if it's really about his promotion, this meeting will make it official. At least pretend you're surprised, okay? It's a big deal for him. You know that. Alright, alright. I won't spoil the moment. It's in the meeting hall at the far end of the castle, right? Yes, let's go. Angel joined the party. Lovely. Let's um check out Angel. She's also level one. She's stronger than Daniel. Um, more accurate. Very skilled. Very skilled. And she has column strike. And she uses a silver lance. Interesting. And um, we could arrange the two. What's she wearing? Angel is wearing iron helmet. Much the same as... Daniel. Copper bat. Oh, we should give her an item to use. Round herb as well. Uh, what items are we carrying? Special, none, items, brown herb, and silver dust. Oh, let's check the magic. Wow, there's thunder, water, ice, fire, dark, light. We have mend, heals one ally. Not sure who cast that, though, but okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's move. Oh, you must be on your way to see the General Knight, sir. Well, I guess I shouldn't be calling him General yet. We're all glad for him. Becoming a Legion Commander has always been his dream. Oh, Colonel Vineyard and Colonel Windsor, too. Do you need anything from me? We can explore a bit while we're out. Wow, there's like... all sorts of rooms. If Colonel Knight is given command of the 3rd Legion, that'll make him your superior. Wouldn't that be weird? Hmm. I can't open that? Let's check over here. Colonel, good morning. Are you doing an inspection today? You know, in JRPGs and stuff, I like to talk to everybody. So let's come back here and even go this way. I hope there's chests and stuff we could pick up. Um, it's probably this way. Yep. Oh, no, I thought we were moving automatically. A lot of people here joined the army four years ago when the mountain tribes attacked, or eight years ago during the Almenga invasion. An offensive war is a whole lot diff is a whole different matter. You're going to be a lot further from home in unfamiliar territory. Okay, they say the same thing. Things have been busier than usual lately. It seems like everyone's in a rush to get ready. The meeting hall is this way, through the doors to the end of the hallway. So we know where not to go just yet. <laughs> Are you going to the city, sir? Um, The meeting hall is the other way, Daniel. I knew that. And often in these games, you only get a chance to recruit certain peeps if you do it at the right time of the story. So, important to know. I can't wait. We're finally get to see the genius strategist in action again. There's no one in the state union who can outsmart General Kaiser. He's undefeatable. I'm pumped. I'll finally get to fight for real. 
What a disappointment. The First Legion's going to stay behind to defend the capital. We're some of the best soldiers in the Royal Army, but we'll probably never see any action. Good day, sir. I don't have access to my tools right now, but if you want, I can take a quick look at your blade. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. So we have attack, upgrade the weapon's attack power, accuracy, and critical hit ratio. And we can upgrade them as we want. We have 50, 50 Arn or Arc. Let's get one crit for Daniel. An Angel is already up there. Cool. Thank you, Blacksmith. So there was a point to come this way. Huh. It's been eight years since the last major war. Time passed quickly, but it's not the same as back then. This time we're on the offensive. Man, this place is huge. What's this way? Ah, uh, okay. So we come this way, come in here. It's another service, perhaps? The State Union has been growing weaker recently due to internal struggle. Since decisions that affect the entire State Union can only be taken if all five states reach an agreement, the government is sluggish. The State Union has trouble with rebels from the mountainous state of Highland. It's kind of familiar to how we've had to deal with the tribes from the eastern mountains. Of course, those people could never become a part of a civilized state like Kiergaard. It's best to leave them alone. Kiergaard and such. Hmm. We are in Kiergaard, who seems to be kind of the enemy a bit, pushing things. And we've been in here, right? Yep. And this goes where? Oh, back down here. Clever girl. So unless we exit out to the city, we've pretty much explored everything here. Go out to the city, see what happens. They might not let us. Yeah, they won't let us. Cool, so I, did I do everything this way, though? I didn't know I didn't. I didn't come in here. Good day, sir. I'm at your command if you need anything. So far, there's nothing hidden. Oh. Well, well, look who's here. Oh, if it isn't my dear colleague, Bruce. What a pleasure to see you again. Your friend got invited to the meeting, didn't he? He sure is lucky. He'll probably get command of the Third Legion. That must be good news for you. Oh, I forgot. You're a pacifist, so it's bad news. Daniel, just go. We don't have time for this. Yeah, you're right. Running away again? Fine, go ahead. Why don't you run away altogether? We're better off without people like you. As I thought, a pea brain like him just can't understand my motivation. You're calling me an idiot, Daniel? I don't have time to take this from a coward like you. A coward, Bruce? Are you calling me a coward? You were there with me, weren't you? Eight years ago, we fought together. Tell me now, was I ever a coward? Did I ever run? It's people like you we're better off without. You're just looking for an opportunity to prove yourself. What a hero you are. Grow up, Bruce. Shut up. Just shut up. Don't treat me like I don't know anything. This is an army. We're here to fight. If you don't like it, get out. Colonel Erickson. G General. Show some restraint, Colonel. I can hear you all the way down the hall. What are your men supposed to think about this? Me? What about him? No excuses. I'm personally responsible for your behavior. As long as you're under my command, you follow my orders. If you get riled up so easily by one of our own officers, what will happen if you're taunted by the actual enemy? A commander who's easily swayed by emotion is a liability on the battlefield. You should know that. Uh, yes, I apologize, General. 
As for you, Colonel Vineyard, you should know better than this. I don't want to see a scene like this again. I took it too far. I apologize. You'll accept my apologies too, I hope, Bruce. Whatever. General Kaiser, has the meeting ended? Hmm? Oh, yes. The meeting's been over for a while. The others stayed behind to discuss some other matters, but it'd be okay for you to enter now. So Jovian's still inside? He was speaking to General Yander when I left. If you hurry, you can still catch him there. Thank you, sir. Let's go, Daniel. Yes, we've wasted enough time here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Notice how when we walk down this way... Oh, I can't save whenever. We have 34 Arn. But notice when I walked down this way, we triggered something that may be totally optional. That may have been totally optional to see that. Because it, uh, we could have just went to the meeting and be done with it. Colonel Erickson's a good commander, but he has a short fuse. The general keeps trying to discipline him, but that's just how he is. It's never going to change. I'm studying hard because I really want to become a war mage. Close range fighting just isn't for me. I get scared too quickly. <laughs> and we talk to him. Ah. Ooh, someone down here. Maybe a recruitable? We're running short on magical supplies here at the capital. We'll need some mat more material from the south. Interesting, and that's it. Bruce? Get out! I don't want to get in any more trouble with the general. You can come up with the greatest strategies, but if your men are unfit to carry them out, you'll never achieve victory. Alright, let's return. We've been everywhere here. Even if we come through here... Yeah, we've been everywhere. I think, let me check one area, because if we come up here, and come in here... Right, the blacksmith was down here, okay. Alright, I'm satisfied. We'll go to the meeting now. Oh, General Leonius, you are some of the division commanders who used to serve under General Russell, aren't you? Yes, we are Colonel Vineyard and Colonel Windsor, 3rd Legion, 2nd and 1st Division, respectively. I see, you must be here to see Jovian Knight, then. Is he still inside? Oh yes, he is. Well, you know what it's about, don't you? The decision's been made as much as I have my doubts about it. He's still so young and reckless to boot. Maybe in ten years, once he'd mature some, he could be a good general, but now? I would have rather seen someone more experienced get the position. Seems my concerns are ignored as usual, though. <sighs> Whenever the other generals have already made up their minds, it's pointless to argue against them. They just won't listen. They treat me as if I'm not important at all. I'm the General of the Fourth Legion. I command a quarter of the Royal Army. What would I have to do to get them to listen to me? Would they walk over me even if I were king? Um, we have to go. Oh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Leonius. So far the generals are a colorful bunch. Angel, Daniel. Hey, Jovian. Well, Jovian, how did it go? Huh, guess what, you two? From now on, I'll be General Knight, commander of the Kiergaard Third Legion. Congratulations, Jovian. That's incredible. Yeah, you finally made it. Well done. It's still too early to celebrate. A difficult task awaits the new general. He has only four weeks to adapt to his new position and ensure the Third Legion is ready for battle. Four weeks, so the exact date has already been decided. Not just that, the plans for the whole invasion are all ready. They've been prepared in secret over the past few months. 
We're going to be the vanguard. We'll attack Jargo Port City at the northern tip of Helman Island. From there, we'll be in good position to take the Kelsinger Pass. Once the pass is in our hands, General Leonius and his 4th Legion will meet up with you. Together, we will, you will lay siege to the capital of Harlington and force them to surrender. After the island has been conquered, General Kaiser will join you to prepare for the assault on the Zelmany mainland. But that's still far off. You'll hear all about the rest of the plans next week, together with the other division commanders. Jargo Port City is the first target, huh? It'll be easy to take them by surprise, so that means... The Kelsinger Pass will be the first major battle. But enough about that. We'll save this discussion for another time. Right now, I want to celebrate my promotion. Let's go somewhere else. I know just the place. See you, General. Colorful bunch indeed. So this was the place you had in mind? I was expecting something a bit more special. Don't you remember? We've been here before. We have? Hmm. It does look a little familiar. I can't believe you two forgot. We've been here before as children. My parents took us all along. It was the first time we ever visited the capital. Oh, I remember now. We went into this forest to play. See, you do remember. Those were the days, huh? We didn't have to worry about anything. To think we're still together after all these years since we left Levier. Must be fate that brought us here. We were destined to fight together. Jovian. Is this really what you want? Not now, Daniel. It's all right, Angel. He's worried about the war, as he should be. We all should be. But Daniel, this has always been my dream. You know that. You're the one that's different. Forget what I said just now. You don't have to fight alongside us. I know you don't want this, so why haven't you left the army? Is it for our sake that you're still here? No, it's nothing like that. Jovian, you remember how it all got started. We joined the army eight years ago when the Almenga Empire attacked us. We signed up because we wanted to defend our homes. If it came to that again, I would fight without hesitation. But this is different. There's no need to attack the State Union. Yet, you're still coming with us. It's not that I'm a hypocrite. Well, maybe I am, but... I'm a colonel here. I have influence, even if it's just a small amount. There's a chance I might change things. If I left the army, what would I have left? The war would go on regardless. Jovian, don't you think this war is wrong? I do. It's wrong. There's nothing right about trampling over the lives of others for your own gain. But that goes both ways. Kiergaard and Zelmany have always been fighting over small plots of land. They've grown too far apart for re reconciliation. I'm sorry to say this, Daniel, but it's not going to change no matter what you tell them. But it's better to try than to just go along with it. Listen, Daniel, we both want the same thing. We want a place where we can all live in peace. I wish that we could do it your way, but it's impossible. The people are too stubborn. There is no way we'll ever achieve stability as long as both countries exist. We have to bring down the state union and create a single, strong empire instead. If we want peace, we're going to have to fight. There's no other way. It's wrong, but I'm willing to do the wrong thing to achieve my ideals. Someone has to make that sacrifice for it to end. I don't want this war to be another temporary measure. We have to go all the way. I can't hesitate and I can't turn back. But I want you to be on my side, Daniel. Jovian. What was that? Someone there? Oh, I completely forgot. Don't you remember why we came here as children? There's a cave right over there. Jovian. He hasn't changed a bit. He was always running off like that as a kid. And we were always running after him. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, we've got a save crystal. 
Oh, there you are. Did you find anything? Not yet. Let's go inside and take a look. Jovi, enjoying the party. Lovely. Save right here. Back up on file one. Let's see how long we've been playing. 26 minutes. 29 minutes. Oh, it says encoding overload. I hope the recording is okay. Seems to be. All right. Um, I guess we should go in then. Look, there's someone here. Huh? Intruders? Who are you calling intruders? What are you doing here? Uh, I... What's going on? Shoot, it's the army. The army? How'd they find us? Heck if I know, they just showed up here. The boss needs to hear about this right away. But there's just three of them. If we take them out now, there won't be a problem. No way, they're soldiers. Let's call for help. Should we let them finish their conversation? Looks like some shady types made this cave into their hideout. What do you say? I think it's too late to turn back. We should look further into this. Don't ask us. You've already made up your mind. Hey, stop ignoring us. You'll regret coming here by yourselves. Let's get them. First battle. Boom. Okay, so we've got attack, magic, special, defend, use item, equip. Always love a good equip. Move. Switch. Quite a few uh, actions. Let's see. He has... He can attack the bandit. He's a light blue diamond, and the bandit is a purple square. Oh, different, different things here. Column strike. Hit all enemies in a column for 0.8 times damage. And she does not have mend, apparently. Or can't cast it. Um, yeah, let's do a column strike. It did not attack the column, but okay. Um, same options. Yep. Attack the bandit. I guess... Vertical is row. Nice. Oh, the MP goes up during combat, which is interesting. So now she can use a mend. Hmm. Oh, a little critical hit. Screen flashed. Plus 14 R and 200 XP. Huh, seems like they aren't so tough. They're just common bandits, but we don't know how many of them there are. We'd better be careful. One of them mentioned their boss. He has to be somewhere around here. We'd better find him and take him in for questioning. You're right. They were just small fry. We've got to get our hands on their leader. All right, let's go. Bribe one arm. Press cancel. Whoa. We could have bribed this bat. One arm. You have to act quickly, though, and press cancel during that. Look at the criticals flying. I love it. Healing use mend. Huh. Seven more arm. Nothing over here. All right. Let's look around. Ooh, treasure chest, baby. Found spark. <clears throat> what is? Wow, what a spark. Magic. Oh, there it is. Fire damage to all enemies. Simple as that. Very cool. Bribe one arm. No, we want to get in the combat. Just a bat. Oh, 21. Um. Let's see. Let up smoke. Blinded. Two of us are. Angel's still okay. Oh, nice. 
dice crit, hits Angel, and she's blinded. Now everybody's blinded. Nice. Healing use mend, 500 XP. I don't understand the healing use, 7 Arn. Let's come down here. Oh, bribe, 8 Arn. Bribe eight iron. Ooh. Found white ash. Can't look in the pots. Found brown herb. Let's head back this way, actually. Got another bat. crit. So that crit I put into uh, Daniel's... Oh, that was Jovian landing those crits. Another crit for Jovian. Mm. We should really check his status. He's got a 1 in weapon crit. His power's 12, 10, 12. We're pretty accurate. 8, 13, 9. And she's accurate and good at crits. Hmm. When he's using the firebrand. Oh, and his stats are he's very strong, good physical defense, good skill. Good man. Come back here and actually come up this way. It's probably not paying eight on yes, something up there. Oh dang. Um There we go, call him strike. Guess you can use that indefinitely. Hmm, that's nice critical. Daniel. Nasty. I hope uh, it's recording okay. If not, this may just be a, an audio episode, unfortunately. There it is. Level two, baby. Oh, you don't get to see. Am I? Pressing the right buttons. Let's bribe. I just bribed. Cause I wanna go back to the beginning and save. Cause this episode is about over. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll stick around as we play more. Um, really appreciate you guys. If you did enjoy this episode, please consider hitting the like button. Give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you care and also helps some of the channel and this video very much. So that would be great. But if you want to also leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. But only do those things if you really want to and not just because I asked so it's all good whatever you choose to do no pressure but I um, do hope to see you guys next time come on back we'll play some more of this fascinating political type medieval type uh, JRPG and see how far we get with it um, not guaranteeing that I'm going to go super far with it but we will check it out a little bit at the very least so until next time, guys, be well, live well, and stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully this video turned out okay. All right, guys, see you for now.